What's up guys, I'm Caddy here. Now today I'm bringing you guys the final battle with our Mega Sizzle team. Now we are against a guy called Zoa and looking at this well, girls team, um, I hope, I don't know if it's, a, <laughs> we'll see, um, I don't even know. So we're going to go, <sighs> no. What's up guys, I'm Caddy here. Now today, <clears throat> what's up guys, I'm Caddy here. Now today I'm bringing you guys a battle against Zoa. Now looking at their team, they've got the potential to either have the Mega Metagross or the Mega Garchomp, probably the Mega Metagross looking at this, because that's the, how it's normally brought in this in this metagame. So, let's see, he, he's probably got Defensive Rotom Wash going on here, could be specially defensive with a physically defensive um, Garchomp, that could be an option, um, though he does still have the Clefable, so it's probably more of an offensive Garchomp set, maybe even Scarf Chomp. Um, I'm not too sure what to make of the Shaman. Maybe Life Orb Offensive, something like that. But um, in terms of lead, I think probably the best way to go. Washington's fairly safe because we can go for... I'm quite tempted to buy Pillows, actually. Um, yeah, we're going to go for Pillows. Okay, that was a terrible choice. Absolutely terrible. We're going to go out into Washington here. Um, I'm just going to let him know. It's coming out on Wednesday. So, yeah, we're going to have to go out from here because Weavile is not the best thing to start off with as he makes a good double out into his own Rotom. Um, I think from here, we're going to just go for... We don't really have a safe switch. And we got Pain Split and things like that. So he does end up Volt Switching here. Um, I run slightly less speed if I remember rightly. Oh, he goes down to the Shaman. That is a, that's a good bit. Uh, I miss anyway. Seems to be just, yeah, just like that last one. Um, but we can go out into a... Hmm. We can go out into Spec Savers. Spec Savers is probably our best bet. Please don't get the special... Oh. <laughs> well, we know what this match is going to be like now. Uh, we're going to go for... We can go either for the U-turn here. Get a bit of initiative, because I think... I think that's the best bet. We're going to U-turn. Because we do outspeed this guy. Unless he's Scarf Shaman, which I don't think he is. They're not normally Scarfed. They're normally... Oh no, he's Life Orb. What am I even saying? Scratch that, guys. Please forgive me. <laughs> As he goes out into the Clefable, that's absolutely excellent. Because it means we could go out into... We could go out into the Magna Zone if we wanted to. Um, let's see. Or even Rock Paper. Because it is going to force him out. And I'm quite tempted by Rock Paper, actually, because it means we get our Mega off. Um, Magna Zone doesn't trap this guy. We need to save the Magna Zone for the Metagross. As long as that doesn't have EQ, that's the only thing. Um, maybe we go out into Stud, because Stud's not massively useful. I've just realised. Maybe we go for Stud, and we go for the Volt Switch. Yeah, we're going to go for Volt Switch, because, I mean, the Garchomp... He's going to predict the Flash Cannon here. So we can go for Volt Switch... And that means we go out, He he's going to go out into maybe the Rotom, um, or he, I doubt he's going to go out to the Metagross, to be honest. Um, but still, regardless of whether he does that or he stays in, he does stay in. So we get 54%, so that's a good good hit off. Um, and it means we can go out into possibly the Tornadus again, because I mean a Hurricane's going to do a lot, and I don't imagine there's much this guy can do to us. And he's probably setting up rocks right here, so let, let's, go, let's go out into that. Oh, flamethrower. He has revealed the flamethrower. Okay. Um, well, we can go for Hurricane here. Because Hurricane is going to do a number... He's definitely going to KO the Clefable, I think. Concerning how much more... Yeah, because it's 110... 110? Yeah, 110. Yeah, it's going to be a good amount of damage. As he is... <laughs> he's just revealed that he's Cow King. <laughs> That's fair enough. To be honest, there's there's no problem at all with damage Cow King. Um... Especially uh, in this situation. But I think, considering everything, he, oh, he does get onto the Garchomp. Now, how much is the Hurricane doing? Not enough. But we do get the Confusion. It does mean, though, we can go out into Pillows um, without too much trouble. Um, or even Washington. Um, pillows is probably a good spec. Because we can go for... Because hmm, I don't really want to get stuck into, stuck into Earthquake. Because we have still got that Rotom to deal with there. Um... 
but then it's not going to do as much. <sighs> so tricky. Because, <laughs> I mean, Washington handles this guy pretty well. And let's go for Washington. Let's go for Washington. Do your job, Washington. As um, he does hit himself in confusion. Um, we are... Let's be cheeky. Let's be cheeky. Awesome. Right, so we get the Volt Switch off. <laughs> I love being cheeky. Uh, and we could, we could go out into Stud, and we could get um, a good hit off from there. Or we could go out into Rock Paper, Mega Up, and go for that Bullet Punch. Um, so many choices, guys. Um, I'm very tempted by Stud, because it means I can Flash Cannon and potentially KO that Garchomp. Let's go for Stud. Let's go for Stud. Play some mind games. Um... And see from there. So let's go for the flash cannon. And um, yeah, there's a lot of mind games going on. I, I love mind games, I must admit. Ah, oh, he does go for the Metagross. That still does a really good amount of damage, I must admit. Uh, but we can go out to Washington here. And we should be okay. There's a lot of people joining for some reason. Um, no idea why. We shall see. <laughs> uh, as we go out into Washington here, as he does reveal that he is the Mega. Hammer Arm doing a really good amount, I must admit. But um, it does mean we can go for, I think Hydro Pump's the way to go. Just in case he wants to go out into the Fable. No, he doesn't. He does go out into the Shaman. We want just a little bit of damage off on the Shaman. There's there's no harm in doing that. Because we know for a fact we can go out into Spec Savers here. And um, this Clefable is down to a point where we could go out and Belly Drum at some point. Uh, I guess maybe the Rotom is going to be a problem. He goes out into the Weavile here. Excellent play on his part, I must admit. But it does mean we can go out into... We could go back out into Washington, actually. Um, let's go back out into Washington. Hopefully that was the play to make. Icicle Crash. Yeah, we do take that. And we have the leftovers as well. And um, he's been going out into the Shaman. Let's, let's, let's Volt Switch here. Because I think that Shaman might be coming back out. Or even the Garchomp. If the Garchomp comes out, I'm not too scared. Because I know I can take a hit. And I can KO back with a Hydro Pump. Ooh, that was close. Um, and a Volt Switch doesn't KO. But it does mean we can go out into... Possibly the Sizzle. Yeah, let's go out into Sizzle here. Uh, because we can Mega Up. We can U-Turn. Um, because... While Bullet Punch will be good, I, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's probably worth just going for that U-turn, just to get some damage off. But we're, while we're not getting many KOs here, guys, we are still really weakening his team down. So that's that's really useful. Um, and we're still sitting at relatively comfortable amounts of health. I mean, our Rotom's nearly gone, but the rest of our team is at 100%, I think. Yeah, because the, uh, the Tornadus is back up to full with the Regenerator. Um, so we're sitting very, very comfortably here, but this is a really good battle, I must admit. So it goes out into the Rotom as we get the U-turn off. 25% is fair enough. Um, we know for a fact his Rotom outspeeds. Uh, so maybe, maybe the Magnazone is the way to go. Um, but yeah, we really don't have enough, much for this guy. Focus Blast. I don't really want to take a Volt Switch, though. That's the thing. Um, whereas maybe Magnazone is the way to go. Because, I mean, as we said, it's it's not massively useful at this point. Because um, we can go for a... Let's go for a Thunderbolt. Ah, he does predict it. That's fair enough. But, as I said, we have we have switches. We can sack off Washington here um, without too much trouble. As he... Oh, he sets up rocks. Um... We can go for Will-O-Wisp here. If it's Tank Chomp, we outspeed, uh, which is really, really useful. And I think maybe, maybe Pain Split. Let's Pain Split here, because I think the Shaman might be coming in. Yeah. So we get some more HP back, which is really, really good. Um, and I think while we get some more HP back, I still think it's worth sacking off Washington. Because, he's yeah, he's at a level of health where I can't really recover back. And I don't really have a safe switch. I kind of need to defog when I can. So we're just going to go for... Uh, it does go for the Hydro Pump here. Okay, uh, no, if, uh, I go for the Hydro Pump. I probably should have Volt Switch there just in case. I didn't predict the rest, I must admit. So we're going to actually Pain Split here. Because I want, I want as much health as possible. Because we can do that. 
He's not revealed the sleep talk, so we can we can vault switch here actually. Um, and he's we can then go out into probably Tornadus because we can then get another free um, hurricane off from there, which is going to KO this shaman. Um, so we, and we still have Washington, which is really good. We've actually benefited from this, which is quite surprising. <laughs> so we can go for a Hurricane here, as um, a U-turn could be an option, but I think Hurricane is the way to go. Um, just because something then has to die. I guess the Rotom... I don't know, the Rotom may not take a Hurricane um, Focus Blast combo. And we take out the Clefables. That's First Blood. It's turn 22 First Blood is quite pretty good, I must admit. Um, he is definitely... Out, yeah, he's outspeeding us here. Let's go out into Washington, because it is our only real option, unfortunately. Icicle Crash and a knockoff combination from there is probably going to take us out. But we can go for Volt Switches, um, just to get a bit of damage off. And it means we can go out and, as I said, back out into Mega Scizor, get that U-turn off, or even Defog, probably Defog maybe, just to stop getting um, hazards and things like that damaging us. But we shall see. But yeah, lots and lots of mind games so far. Um, what revealed the Stealth Rock? Garchomp revealed the Stealth Rock. I'm tempted to U-turn because I know that Rotom's coming in. And I think from there, Stud... Or even Spec Savers with Flash Cannon. Not Flash Cannon, uh, Focus Blast might be the option. Let's go out into Rock Paper. Because we can U-turn now. And that will take out the Weavile. The Weavile can't really touch us. Um... And we shall see from there. Yeah, something's got to take a hit. The Rotom does come out. 25%. So this is looking to be physically defensive Rotom. So maybe Magnazone's the way to go. Because I can't see Magnazone being too much of a too much too useful from now. So we can just get, I know I'm pretty sure a flash cannon. While it's resist oh it's quad resisted though, that's the only thing. Pain split. That was a bit of a mistake on my part, I wasn't thinking. I do apologise, guys. Um, I think what we're going to do is just get as much damage off on this Rotom as possible. Um, he does go for the Will-O-Wisp here. Even if it means Stud goes down, I think it's still worth it. Because Stud has done his job. Um, we know we have we will struggle with the me met uh, Mega Metagross because of the Hammer Arm. And we just need to get this Rotom down to a level of health. Um... Okay, so that, yeah, we really didn't achieve a huge amount with that. That was a bit unfortunate. So, I think Spec Savers, it's your time to shine. Because a Focus Blast will probably KO if this is defensive, which I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> okay, um, I guess the Pain Split. Um, let's just go for a Focus Blast. That's really, really unfortunate. But Assault Vest, we may be able to live a hit. Oh. Please don't miss. <laughs> um, but we shall sap. We'll have to see. Okay, 36%. Um, I think I'm going to actually knock off this... Let's knock off this Rotom. I think that's the play to make. As he does Volt Switch and we live, that's really, really huge, actually. Um, <clears throat> because it means we can go out into... We can go back out into Rock Paper. We're fine. And we could even defog these rocks away if we wanted to. Um, or even U-turn. I think maybe... Maybe U-turn here. Yeah, because it brings the Rotom down to a point where Pillows can come in. and Or even Chubs... <clears throat> Or even I could probably KO with... How much did the knockoff do? 16%. Not with a U-turn, but... Um, I think it's the way to go. Goes out into the Garchomp. How, is this Rocky Helmet Iron Barbs? It is. Yeah, that was actually a really good play. Um, we're going to go out into... Actually... Azumarill probably is the best way to go here. Because we know he's a defensive set. Let's go for this. This is going to be... We're going to have to get a sweep going here. 
So we can belly drum. Alright, let's hope this works. Endure. Nope. <laughs> um, that was there. That's that's really useful because we he's gonna have to get two endures off now. Um, I've never seen endure Garchomp. Oh, he's is he like a berry or I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna pop a question mark into the chat because I'm a little bit confused about what that set is. <laughs> um. Let's see. But he's Defensive Rotom, so we outspeed Defensive Rotom. Um, so we can just go for Play Rough or even a Waterfall. Probably Play Rough on that. Uh, Shaman. Aqua Jet may KO. I think that's the only iffy one we've got here. Um, but even if we get the Shaman down, we we're going to we're gonna wreck through quite a bit of his team. Um, he does fail the Endure. As we can go for the Aqua Jet, I'm not sure what he's trying to achieve with that. Uh, we do take some rough, rough skin damage and everything like that. But hopefully with Aqua Jet, I mean, we can KO, probably KO the Metagross uh, from there with Aqua Jet. Um, maybe I'm overdoing it with Azumarill, we'll see. No, we're plus four, 400 attack. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm being rude to Azumarill, um, but we shall see. What's unfortunate, though, is he does have uh, zero turns of sleep left with the Shaman. He goes out into the Rotom here. Um... I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to calc this. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, so um, looking at this, uh, we have a... <clears throat> um, where is it? There it is. 36.9 to 43. So we have a good chance to KO. And that's with uh, 248, 216. But then if he's defensive, I outspeed, don't I? 219, 177. Let's, let's go for the play rough. I think play rough's... Oh, he's... Oh, that was such a tricky choice. I'm sure he was defensive. Ah. That, that's a shame. He must just pack enough. Um, so what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to go out into... That's really unfortunate. Um... This Rotom is going to really be a pain. Um, well, we know Stone Edge pretty much sweeps from here once Metagross is weakened. So we can go out. No, Tornadus, if he's got Bullet Punch, we're in trouble. Um, we're going to have to go out into Pillows. And <clears throat> we're going to have to go for the Stone Edge here. Yes, so that's the Rotom out the way. That means we can Earthquake with Impunity now. As he goes out into the Metagross. Okay. So, what's the least useful thing? Rock Paper is useful because we have Bullet Punch. Spec Savers is less useful. Okay. Whew. <laughs> this is a stressful match. Um, uh, he's asked, why didn't I Aqua Jet? Yeah, I, I thought I out spares and also. And also, Aqua Jet was iffy for the KO. Um, yeah, Jet was, Jet was probably the play. Um, but. Yeah, unfortunately. I, I, I've still, I think I've still got a chance for this. Uh, it depends. If this is like rock polish or something like that, please don't get the attack boost. Good. Okay, so we can go back out into pillows now. Um, we can get an EQ off and something dies, pretty much, um, from there. Because with Choice Scarf, uh, we've got a good amount of attack. We've got a lot of people joining, which is quite cool. And we shall see from there. Um, because the Shaman... I don't know how much I'll do to Shaman, but it's going to be a reasonable amount. And I can always sack Scizor and start going for U-turns once his Metagross is weakened. So, I don't know if I trust that play, to be honest. I would have kept that Shaman, because now I sweep. That that probably wasn't the, the play to make there. You'd have been better off sacking... Ooh, the Weavile. Maybe I'm wrong. Ah, 
yeah, maybe I'm just talking rubbish now. <laughs> um, let's see. The question is, can I succumb him to life or recall? We're going to have to go out into rock paper just to see, because he's going to have to ice shard. Yes, we've won. We've won. I, I was hoping that we would live. And we live on 2 HP, because this means now with rifle recoil, he's in a little spot of trouble, because I can roost here. Right. We're back in the game. Um, we're going to hard switch into pillows. My heart is racing. This is this is an absolutely incredible game, guys. <laughs> Hammer arm. Right. His speed reduces. We go for the earthquake here. Yeah, I think it's GG from here. <laughs> this is just, uh, yeah. Absolutely amazing game. Because uh, he's able to KO me with the ice shard here. But yeah, that was absolutely beautiful and just, yeah. I don't even know what to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle as much as I did. It was incredibly tense. You know, sort of hit for hit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle and hope you enjoyed the team as well. And I will see you guys at our next battle. Caddy out.